What's up guys, Asian here again with another theory crafting video and today we're going to be exploring whether or not spell strategist is affected by buffs like major sorcery and minor sorcery. So this was a question that's been on my mind um, and a lot of people's minds really um, when they first saw spell strategist which is does spell strategist, is it affected by major sorcery and other sort of spell damage buffs? So Spell Strategist is a new set from Merkmire, which is obtained from Rewards of the Worthy. So those are the coffers that you get for every 20,000 AP that you gain. Uh, in the 5 piece, when you deal damage to the light attack, you place a mark over your target for 5 seconds, granting you 500 spell damage against your marked target. This effect can occur every uh, 5 seconds. Uh, this is on the PTS, so it says 4, but I believe it is 5 on the live server right now. So naturally, this kind of, you know, asks the question is this comparable to things sets like Netch and Automaton and um, Six of the Sun where that spell damage um, from what I can remember is still affected by major minor sorcery um, I have to double check on that but last I heard it was still affected by major minor sorcery you know sets like Netch's touch and things like that so this is a little bit different from those sets because Netch's Touch, Silks of the Sun, Automaton, those just add flat spell damage to shock, fire, physical damage, whatever you, whatever the set specifically calls for. This, on the other hand, is uh, 500 spell damage against only marked targets, so it acts as kind of a debuff, um, and it also is a flat bonus, so it's not specific to shock or flame damage or frost damage, it is to all spell damage. So this kind of there's some parallels between things like Netch and Silks of the Sun and Spell Strategist but there's also some differences there that kind of made a couple people wonder whether or not Spell Strategist would actually be affected um, by you know sorcery buffs and other sort of percentage buffs to spell damage. So to test this out uh, in probably the best way that I can think of as uh, that is the most mathematically accurate way that I can think of doing um, is just to take a look at this spell coefficients to skill coefficients for a specific ability and compare them between basically four different scenarios the first one being just no any spell damage bonus or i should say no major sorcery the second one being with spell strategist but no major sorcery and then we do uh with major sorcery uh and spell strategist at the same time and so what that basically should do is it should tell us depending on the hits that we see on the skeleton what whether or not spell strategist is affected by major sorcery and if it's affected by major sorcery then we can say that it is affected by basically any sort of percentage spell damage buff so i am on a sork right now and so one thing i did to kind of take away the variable of expert mage is i just completely took out expert mage so this adds an additional percentage to spell damage for each sork ability we have slotted kind of wanted to get rid of that because that does screw around a little bit with how major sorcery is applied and things like that so i just took that out completely so now the only source of spell damage bonus that we're going to be getting is from our major sorcery buff from our potion passive um so again uh this is the only source of major sorcery so we should have 47 seconds of major sorcery to help us figure out whether or not um our ability is going to be uh affected by major sorcery so we're going to be using Endless Fury here. So this is a pretty standard ability that you find in a Sork. Um, this is just going to be really easy for us to, to kind of see. Mainly because there's no cast time. You can just spam it continuously and we'll be able to test out whether or not, um, based on the damage we see, how it all plays out. Um, so in terms of sets, it's pretty much your standard. You have Zahn, Mother Sorrow, uh, then we have Spell Strategist, this is golded out. Uh, this is just to kind of eliminate things like Sororia, but buffing our spell damage, because Endless Fury will proc Sororia, so we just got rid of that. And then Zahn doesn't have any additional spell damage bonuses, so we just also want to get rid of any sort of like spell damage bonuses here. So let's swap over real quick to the skill coefficient, so you guys can basically see what, I, what I'm using here in terms of and numbers and things like that. So this is uh, the skill coefficient page on UESP. Very, very nice website, uh, but it is kind of number heavy. So basically what you what I did here was I just searched for Endless Fury. We're at level four. So remember that each of the four abilities do have different skill coefficients here. And then we just took a look at this number here. So deals X amount of shock damage, because that's the only number that we're gonna be looking at right now. So that formula is this formula right here. Uh, so it's, 0.038 times your magicka plus 
0.406105 times your spell damage minus 0.467371. And just basically copy pasted this into R here. And then I added in my magica, max magicka and spell damage. And then I also multiplied this by any sort of damage done um, and our CP multipliers as well as how much penetration we have. So if we swap over real quick to ESO. Um, so in terms of damage done, we do have to take into consideration that we do have Ancient Knowledge from our Destro Staff passive. That adds 8% uh, from the Flame Staff. And then Sorks do have 5% from Energized to Shock Damage. And this is Shock Damage, so it does count as 5% additional Shock Damage. So that's where that damage done comes from. And then under our CPs, this is your standard Sork CP. So we have 13% additional Shock Damage from Ellie Expert. And because Endless Fury is a direct damage, we also have to add in Master at Arms, which is another 22%. So... Uh, the, that's where I'm getting uh, these numbers from the 0.08 plus 0.05. This is the damage done from Ancient Knowledge and then the Energized passive. And then these are our CP passives. And then this just comes from this number here. This is our penetration value. So it's 0.22. So I just did 0.78 instead. So here we magic cut and spell damage here. So we're just going to initialize these variables. And we're going to just plug in this whole equation here. And we should see 2659 roughly. Um, as our hit if we decide to use uh, Endless Fury on our Skeleton. So if we go ahead and try Endless Fury on our Skeleton here, we got to make sure we don't get a crit here. 2614, I believe is what we got. 2614. So that's basically what we're, we're going to be seeing. So uh, the, the formula is a little bit off here, but it's pretty much as close as we can possibly get to, you know, what we can expect to see so our expected value basically so if we go back over to our uh, equations here let's just hop back over uh, we will see that i have basically three different scenarios uh, down the line here so if we activate spell strategist we should see a 500 increase in our spell damage now we don't have any sort of modifiers to our spell damage boost so it should be just a flat 500 you know jump us up from 2115 to 2615 and then when we add that in, we should be seeing around 2,900 uh, as our damage when we use Endless Fury. So that's what we're going to be testing first. And then this next spell damage value here is assuming that it is not affected by Major Sorcery. So this is basically saying, okay, we have our base spell damage, which is 2,115. That's going to be affected by Major Sorcery, but the 500 from from the spell strategist is not affected. So that's just going to be a flat increase to our spell damage boost from the 2,115. So if we go ahead and initialize this value here, our spell damage should be 3,038. And our hit should be 3,105 or, or roughly around there. Now this value here is assuming that everything is affected by major sorcery. So the spell strategist is affected by major sorcery. So instead of multiplying 21, 15 by this 1.2 and then adding 500 we add the 500 and then multiply that by 1.2 so if we do that initialize that it should give us in this case an extra 100 spell damage compared to if it wasn't affected by major sorcery and that should increase our mech our hit by about 50 so we should see 3153 roughly um speaking if spell strategist is affected by major sorcery. So we're gonna hop back off the ESO now and we're going to see basically how these numbers compare. So we're gonna first make sure that spell strategist is working as intended. So that it is a flat increase to our spell damage. So our hit again should be this value here around 2900. Again, it's gonna be a little bit lower just because this formula is not perfect exactly what's in the game, but it's a very, very close approximation. So let's go ahead and swap over to ESO. So we have to proc spell strategist first. Um, just get out of there. So we just need to proc spell strategist here. Now the hard part is making sure we don't get a crit because we're wearing Mother's Sorrow. 2852 is what I got. Got 3080 on that one. 2852. So pretty much on the money there. So it's basically working as as expected. Um, so now let's go ahead and drink our potion. Uh, let's get our magicka back up first. Um, so we're going to drink our potion here, and we're going to see what the max hit is. Uh, first, we're going to basically drink our potion. Then we're going to activate spell strategist. Then we're going to use endless fury, and we're going to see what our numbers are. 
So again, if we swap back over to, oops, we swap back over to R here, our two values that we're going to be looking at is going to be 3105 versus 3153. Now that's going to be pretty small overall. So if you remember here, we got uh, 2852 for our expected value of 2900. So I'm just going to find out what the percentage difference is and we'll use that as our uh, kind of as a modifier here. You know, about 2852. That's about a 1.6% modifier. So I will just uh, let's see, uh, 1 minus 0 0.0168, and that should give us uh, a closer approximation. 168, I'll initialize this. So if Spell Strategist is affected by Major Sorcery, then we should see around 3100 as our hit with Endless Fury. If it is not affected by spell strategist, then we should see 3052 instead. So again, it should be a difference of about 50. So let's go ahead and swap over to ESO. And go ahead and test this out. So drink our potion here first. See here that we got 2538, which I'm just doing this off screen here. 2115 times 1 1.2 gives us 2538. So the, we are getting our, uh, our 20%. So let's go ahead and... Activate Spell Strategist. 3101. So let's just get another hit just to make sure. We are getting a little bit higher here. 3101. 3101 again. 3349. That might just be because there might be some other passive that's affecting the max hit there but 3101 was what we got so if we go ahead and swap back over to R doing a lot of switching back and forth sorry about this guys but if we go ahead and take a look at back at R if spell strategist was effective major sorcery we should be seeing 3101 if it wasn't we should be seeing closer to 3052 so we saw 3101 on our endless fury hits we saw a little bit higher here and there but that might have been just um the concussed perhaps from because Endless Fury can proc concuss, so it might just be concuss slash by vulnerability, where we're seeing those little bit higher numbers there. So that that is pretty much pretty much as conclusive as we can get. It does seem like Spell Strategist is therefore affected by Major Sorcery, which does mean that it is also affected by any other percentage boost uh, to your spell damage. So things like the Sorc passive, the Expert Mage passive, for instance, um, Minor Sorcery, things like that. Spell Strategist is boosted by that. Now, whether or not that's going to make a big difference, whether it's affected by Major Sorcery or not, I would have to run the numbers, but I don't really have time to do that right now. But it does... Seem like spell strategist is effective by major sorcery, much like how Natch and Silks of the Sun are affected by major sorcery as well. So, for those of you guys who are wondering whether major sorcery uh, affects spell strategist, here's your answer: it does affect spell strategist. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys found this video informative. Uh, again, this is probably the best way that I can think of to kind of make sure that major sorcery was. Uh, impacting spell strategist, uh, just using the skill coefficients and comparing expected values to what you get um, on the actual game. Uh, so if you guys have any other methods that you might have seen or maybe have done to kind of double check to make sure that spell strategist is being affected by major sorcery, please feel free to share them down in the comment section below. Again, hope you guys found this video informative and I'll see you guys in the next dungeon.